Come on. It's your homeboy preach in the building. And we vibing. <laughs> And we having a real good time. Paper, kiss all of the pretty girls. It takes belief in your oneself. That's more powerful than anything you pull out your own belt. Oh, no, wait, no, no, that's making nice. No, no, no. I have history. I gotta get a good seat. No, 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 you want history. Check this Ontario, out. Ontario, where General Ladik Kamenko was caught hiding in what appears to be pig's manure. Oh, that's gross. The world's most feared tyrant in his day, as was his father. General Kamenko vanished a decade ago during a global initiative to end his reign of okay, terror. Okay, gotta go. I'm Hannah Willans. Mom, you gotta stop doing this. Okay, I'm not a kid, you're smothering me. <laughs> don't forget to wear your helmet. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Canadian division had penetrated deeper into France than the British or American troops and overcome greater resistance than any other beachhead except Omaha Beach. Now, turn to page 69. This is crossing into creepy territory, Jake. Oh, that's good. I gotta get that. Let me know when you start collecting her fingernails and use tissues. Das ist ja unmöglich. So, instead of learning, Mr. Bouchard would rather draw pretty pictures of fair damsels. <laughs> Mr. Bouchard, methinks you would be better served taking notes than sketching portraits. Methinks old people should be seen and not heard. <laughs> Mr. Bernstein. Sir, yes, sir. I asked my mom to give me a note to skip this class. But no, exercise is good for you. It'll help build your muscles. What muscles? I'm the muscles of a guy who spent too much time in the Whoa! 63.8 miles per hour. New high school record. <laughs> Hello, Earth to Jake. Why don't you just put us both out of our misery and ask Angie out? That's great. Be nuts. I grew up with her. I've known her since I was four. Even better. It'd be like dating your own sister. In not a creepy dating your own sister kind of way. What? No. Forget it. I'm... I haven't talked to her in years. She won't even notice me. You could start by developing a personality. I have a personality. Moody Loner is a red flag, not a personality. Shut up. Frank's throwing this huge party tonight. Ask her to go with you. No, I can't. Why not? That is why not. Todd Tom's act. You guys ready? Yeah. Ever see that guy play football? He's like a human killer machine. Time's up. Human killing machine? That's a good name for a band. You see that? She called shoulder Todd. Oh, no, 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 please, keep it. <laughs> I'm not really hungry, so... <clears throat> um, so earlier in Sterling's class, that was me, right, in the, that picture? Uh, you know what, it's funny that you asked ask me that, actually, because, um... Yeah. <laughs> um, could I see it? Yeah, yeah, uh, sorry. Um, uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Wow, this is, um, this is really good. You think so? Yeah, can I keep this? Yeah, sure, totally. Uh, you really like that? Well, I mean, it's Snow Picasso, but... Well, that's because all of your body parts are in the right place. 
Or so <laughs> assume I have. Um, yeah. Uh, speaking of body parts being in the right place, you probably shouldn't tell Todd where you got that. Todd? We broke up like two weeks ago. Does he know that? Just because on the field earlier he seemed really... Oh, um, yeah, you know, he's been trying to get me back, but, um, not interested. Really? Really? Um, <clears throat> Angie, you know, uh, Craig is having this big party tonight, and I know this is really late notice, and I'm sure you have plans with your peeps, because you probably have peeps, but I was wondering if... Are you uh, asking me out on a date? You're right. That was a stupid idea. Shouldn't have done it. Why ruin our friendship, right? I mean, we haven't really been friends since we were, like, four years old. <laughs> You're right. But something like this could ruin it for, like, another 13 years. So, I... <laughs> um, how about you, uh, pick me up? Eight o'clock? Uh, really? Yeah, eight o'clock. Does that work for you? Yeah, eight o'clock is good. Eight o'clock works. Okay. okay. I will see you at eight. Yeah. Um... Picasso, you are cute when you're confident. I'm confident. Got it. <laughs> so, how did it go? Did she reject you? Huh? I... She said yes, man. You're kidding. about the thousands of civilians that you had executed. That is a lie. That is a lie. Oh, that, that is a lie. All of you, that is a lie. Your accusations. Jake, is it you? Yeah, it's me. Wait, wait, it looks like Jake. I've been home for an hour. Where are you being? Sorry, I was getting ready. What do you think? Very handsome. Thank you for remembering. Remembered what? About tonight. What are you talking about? Second and last Friday of every month, dinner with Grandpa. No, 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 no. Not tonight. Why not tonight? Because I have a date tonight, Mom. You can hang out with Wendell another time. It's not with Wendell, it's with a girl. <laughs> Please don't laugh. Sorry. Seriously, who's it with? You know her. It's Angie Wagner. Little Angie Wagner? How is she? She's a hard 10. That's how she is. And I'm like a soft six. Seven. If I blow her off, she will never talk to me again. Okay, well, you know that Grandpa only gets out of that awful old folks' home twice a month to have dinner with us, so... Okay, we'll do it tomorrow night. Any other night, just not tonight, please. No, no, no. Twice a month, no cancelling. Old people need consistency, otherwise they get confused. He's already confused. He thinks people are watching him. Being in the armed forces has made Grandpa a little... Crazy? Jake Bouchard. You can see little Angie Wagner afterwards. Your dad's here with Grandpa. Yay. Be nice. So, what tall tales is Grandpa gonna tell us tonight, huh? Nazi zombies? Communist garden gnomes? They were suspicious looking garden gnomes. Yeah, because in this house, that's totally normal. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dad, what's Grandpa doing? Oh, you know, there was a van parked by the Grossbergs, and he won't get out of the car because he thinks it's a surveillance van. Are the Grossbergs having a circumcision? Jake, cover the TV. Oh, and uh, the, 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 the blinds. 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 If we still do this. Television's covered up. Sure are. One in the kitchen, too? Yep. Uh, surveillance truck finally moved. Yeah, of yeah. course, Dad. Yeah. Hi, baby. Let's eat. Let's do it. Are you enjoying your chicken, Dad? Yes. Did I ever tell you that the Sanders, right? He was the worst cook our unit had. Oh, you knew Colonel Sanders, Grandpa? Are you kidding? You know, during the second occupation of Cuba, Private Sanders. He used to shovel mule poop, right? So there was no finger looking good, uh, you know, <laughs> and trust me. And um, basically, I kind of invented the style of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Mm, here we go. 
me and my men, but not my men, this special unit I had, we called them the Devil's Come, right? We decided we were gonna ambush this supply truck, it was right off the coast of uh, Cuba, it was right off the shores there. So we go hit it, right? We have nothing in it, except the cab is full of chickens. Now we're starving to death, right? So I tell Saunders, hey, get that spice rack. I said, throw them in there, right? So 13 spices and uh, herbs later, history was being cooked. <laughs> Hmm. You know, on the box here, it says 11 secret herbs and spices. Jake. No, nope, he is correct. Son, this took out one herb and one spice, so that's 11, and that's why I don't get one royalty out of the whole deal. You know what, can we just spend, like, a little bit more time eating and, like, a little bit less time in fantasy land? Jake Michael Bouchard. I'm... I'm sorry, Dad. Jake's anxious because he has a date tonight. Oh, really? With a girl? Or... Why is that so... Got yourself a little uh, hot chick? Yes, actually. Anxious to get out there. Mom? Dad. Okay. All right, listen. You have some protection? Mom! Dad! What the heck? What's the matter? What are you ashamed? What are you, something to be ashamed about, Dad? Mm. Well, that was awful. Mom, he's nuts. He lives in this fantasy world, and you guys just let him... He's doing it again! He thinks the house is full of microphones. He's putting X's all over the walls. It looks awful. I expect you to offer him a full apology when you drive him to the nursing home. Drive him back to the nursing home? No, 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 I'm not doing that. I gotta take Angie. Well, your dad and I are going to the airport, and I still have a million things to pack. He's gonna ruin my date before it even starts. You're the only one who can do it, and you know that your grandpa won't take a taxi. Can we FedEx him? Look, Angie, I am so sorry. I had no idea this was happening tonight. It's fine. I think it's nice that you and your grandfather are so close. So are you sure you're okay to get to the party, though? Yes, totally. It's fine. I'll, I'll meet you there. Okay, great. I try not to have too much fun without me. Okay, well, no promises, Picasso. Okay, bye. Hey, Grab, I just wanted to uh, apologize for what happened at dinner. Tonight means a lot to me, and I, uh, I didn't mean to diss you. Disrespect you. You getting hit or something? Hello? Hey, Picasso. Guess what? My ride died on me. It's leaking oil or something? Yeah? Are you, uh, you okay? Uh, yeah. I took a shortcut and ended up on Rambler Street right in front of the old abandoned sock factory, so <laughs> not the best neighborhood to be stuck in. Can you, uh, pick me up? Um... You know what, I actually still have to drop my grandfather off. Could you give me, like, uh, 30 minutes? I can call Todd. He's got a full set of tools. No, 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 no. I'll, uh, I'll be there. Just, um, just don't move. Ah, uh, that's boy. Battle of the bulge, huh? <laughs> okay, you know what, Grandpa? When Angie gets in the car, I need you to just not talk. Okay, I just need you to be my normal grandfather like everybody else's normal grandfather. Just for like a few minutes, please. Grandpa, did you hear me? Uh, yeah, normal, uh, normal grandfather. International reaction to Krakowian war remote Vladik Komenko's sudden death is mixed. French President Jacques Dumas Komenko, has called Komenko man. Komenko I knew his father. He was a terrible dresser, man, but he had, he had some nice teeth, but, you know. This is where she said she was. You sure about that? Yeah. Yeah, there's the old sock factory. Okay, let me call her. What are you... Is this your phone? Yeah, it is. She must have called the auto club and then dropped it somehow when they picked her up. Yeah, here. A few. Gasoline. And Manua. What does Manua have to do with finding?
What are you doing? Looking for footprints. Uh, there's more than one of them, too. That's not good. What is that stuff? It's called luminal, kid. Hey! Hey, where you going? Grip! Grandpa! Over here. Crazy old man. Hey, what are you doing? You can't just wander off like that, all right? What are these tire tracks doing here? Who cares? These are Goodyear EV-330s, issued to government vehicles only. The same ones were on the ambulance and the SUV that passed us earlier. OK, so they're EV-30 whatevers. Can we go now? I think your girlfriend got herself mixed up in something really bad. For the really last time, bad. Grandpa, she's not my girlfriend. And if I don't get to that party, she never will be, OK? What are you doing? I'm calling my friend Wendell. He's at the party. He's going to tell me that Angie is there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. wait a minute. I'll tell you what. If she is at the party, you take me to the home, feed me a tuna fish sandwich, pat me on the head, and we're done. If she's not there, we do things my way. Deal? Fine. Not fine. Deal. Deal. Yellow? Wendell, are you at the party? Is Angie there? No, she isn't. Craig's folks didn't leave town. Party's canceled. What, are you serious? What? Do, do you know where she could be? Listen, dude, I've got more important things to do than survey the whereabouts of your girlfriend. She's not my girlfriend, man. OK, I'll talk to you later. Let's go. Where are we and what are we doing here? It's an underground arms dealer. These guys may help us figure out where they took your girlfriend. Yeah, whatever you say, Grandpa. You know what this is? This is a special from a Tokarev automatic handgun. Where'd you get that? The ambulance tire tracks. Right there. Let's go. MID 69 Super X mines. Unless you'd like to be barbecued to a crisp. Boom! <laughs> Come in. Have a seat. Thank you. So, what can I do for you? Um, you ever seen any of these before? You a cop? Uh, military intelligence. Your kid? Ransom. Hello. Let me see that. Talk out of 7.6 millimeter. Mm. Nothing new. Did you unload any of those lately? What's it to you? Well, see, my grandson here, his uh, girlfriend got kidnapped, and uh, I found that right at the place where we believe she got taken. And why should I care? Well, because in about 10 seconds, I'm going uh, to take down this big gorilla of yours and put the other goon away and then put this one in a coma. Then when I ask you the question again, you'll be in a world of hurt. 
<laughs> you know what I think? No. I think you should play nice and go home with your grandson. Grandpa? Okay. See, I'll bet that you're thinking, who is this old man standing in front of me who's not afraid? Am I right? And you're also thinking, what does this guy know that makes him so fearless? He's crazy, right? That's what most people think he's crazy. But then, again, maybe he's not so crazy. Maybe he knows exactly what he's doing. All right, enough. I'm gonna put it down. Put your guns down. Get up. On the ground, boys. Don't move anywhere. Jimmy. Now, I'm gonna ask you that question. Did you move any of those shows lately? Uh, just last week, buyers from out of town wanted some. And? And it took full crates of automatics and weapon and ammo. You wouldn't happen to know uh, anybody's name, would you? Uh, some mercs there from Chris Crash. I don't know. Krakowians? Yeah. Come on, go. Uh -huh. Guy from the news? Son, uh, you stay right behind me, boys. Face the other way and walk. Don't look no. back, just keep walking. Come on. Police! Everybody! That's where we can see them! Right there! Right there! And where we can see them. Sir, please put your weapon down. Leave those two alone. Okay, we're secure. These are friendlies. Evening, Major Crawford. How you been? Hey, you're the rabbi that was out. Mr. Bouchard, I'm Captain Steinberg with Aspic. Well, one might wonder why we should find you here. This is very unexpected. I want to talk to Maddie Harcourt. Who's Harcourt? She's waiting for you. Please, follow me. Come on, let's follow protocol. Please leave us. Mr. Bouchard. Oh, please call me Jake. Or Jakey, my grandpa calls me Jakey. Um, where is my grandfather? Don't worry, Mr. Bouchard, he's close. I'm an old friend of his, Madeline Harcourt. Your grandfather and I served together. Oh. Uh, were you one of the devil's scum? Excuse me? The devil's scum, uh, Grandpa's old special forces unit? He told you he was in a special forces unit? Oh, I, I won't, like, say anything. I'll, I'll keep it to myself, I promise. Uh, Mr. Bouchard, what else did your grandfather tell you? Where do I start? Uh, let's see, he told me about North Korea. He told me about Mao and how that Argo movie was all wrong, or something. Uh, what are you guys doing about Angie? Angie? Yeah, she's my... Uh, we were supposed to pick up a girl. Her car broke down, and then we got there. She wasn't. Grandpa thinks she's mixed up in something. She was kidnapped. Mr. Burchard, did your grandfather ever mention to you that he received a Section 8 from the military? Why? Well, I don't understand. Your grandfather hasn't been on the active duty roster since 2005. He was found mentally incompetent. But he's not mentally... Perhaps it was stress. Maybe shell shock. We had him on desk duty for a few years, but sometimes an idea pops into his head and he runs with it without realizing how insane the idea is. 
It's actually quite impressive how detailed the fantasy world is he can create. Okay, but what about Angie? She is still missing. Just because you don't know where she is doesn't mean she's missing. We look into it. I'm sure she's fine. Uh, the, the, the shell casings. He found two shell casings at the place she was supposed to be. Did you happen to see him pick up those shell casings? Well, no. Part of your grandfather's dementia is that he collects all sorts of odd bits of military junk. Spent shells, old scraps of enemy uniforms. He's probably been carrying those shell casings around for the last 20 years. So we didn't need a raid on Mao's villa. The French Foreign Legion, the, the affair with the double agent. All fantasies. Wait, no, 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 no. He took down that big guy at the garage where the rabbi picked us up. I mean, that guy was huge. He used his bare hands. I mean, you should have seen it. It was amazing. Even old people, when they have to, when they need to, they can turn it on for one last mission. I know this is hard for you. Your grandfather loves you very much, but he can no longer function by himself. Not until we get him back on his medication. So what happens to him? We're going to move him to a veteran's hospital. In a few months, you'll be able to see him again. We've left word for your parents. I'm sure once they get it, they'll come straight back. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah, sure. Take good care of him, Mr. Bouchard. You guys in there, hey, look at me, look at me. I am not moving, okay? You get Madeline Harcourt to come in here. I am not moving. Take a look right here. I'm gonna stand here like a rock, okay, until I see you, you got me? Hey, Maddie, hey. What? No salute for superior officer? I'm a commander now. Oh, well, then um, there you go, commander. Uh, you always did like being on top anyway, huh? My, oh, my. <laughs> where, um, where is my grandson? We're taking good care of him. Well, I'm sure you are in the Angie Wagner situation. Hey, yes, Jake's girlfriend. We found her car in a garage where she had it towed. She's probably having a great time with her friends. Sorry she stood up your grandson. He looks like a nice kid. He is.
and what is the nature of your emergency? Hello, my name is Angie Wagner and I've been kidnapped. Um, my car broke down and there was an ambulance and these SUVs and they shot two people. Um, he did that man from the TV. Okay, Angie, calm down. Tell me where you are. He, he, he saw me and he took me to, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's somewhere by the water. Look, I got out of the room they were holding me in and I got this phone, but I don't know when they're going to be back. Tell me, Lou, what were you thinking blowing your cover like that? I wasn't thinking very much. That's the cover story you chose, Lou. We were ready to retire you to a beach somewhere. Well, I really never expected this night to happen. Didn't you? Coming up with that story about Jake's girlfriend being mixed up with the Krakovians? That is where all the evidence points at. And on top of that, he tells me, you divulged classified information. And you told him about us. I, I told him about a, a double agent. I didn't use your name or anything. But what's the difference? He's used to his grandfather telling these wacky stories all the time. He never believed a word of anything. He thinks you're the greatest thing since the personal computer. Really, yeah. Hmm. Tomorrow, we'll relocate you to a safe house. Um, would it be all right if I said about my grandson? What for? It'll just make things harder for everyone. Excuse me. Yes? Officer, you're needed in the control room. I'll be right there. I've got to go. Oh. Here. You've got clearance. Oh. Get yourself a cup of coffee. Catch a nap in the officer's mess. We'll move you out in a few hours. OK, thanks. I'm sorry it has to be this way, Lou. Yeah, well. Okay, sweetie. So, thanks. That Angie Wagner thing, you're sure about that, huh? She's fine. Quit torturing yourself. Get some rest. I've been doing that for years, you know. Oh, and Lou, don't do anything stupid. I'm getting too old for the game now. In my country, we have saying, if you hide in that of manure for three days, you don't come out smell like the roses. But she had demonica. Oh, good job. This does, this does nothing. Good night, Bojie Rabbit. We think it could be from Kamenko's hideout. This just came in through 911. Play it. Hello, my name is Angie Wagner, and I've been kidnapped. Um, my car broke down, and there was an ambulance and these SUVs, and they shot two people. Um, he did that man from the TV. OK, Angie, calm down. Tell me where you are. He, he, he saw me, and he took me to, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's somewhere by the water. Look, I got out of the room they were holding me in, and I got this phone. But I don't know Boy. when they're going to be back. That's no, a man <laughs> Call 911. Give them our clearance information. Tell them it was a training call. Yes, ma'am. Hey, sir, I'm here to um, bring the kid back to my Lamar court. Here you go. OK, uh, let's go, Jake. What? No. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, son. Look, we don't have any time. I'll tell you about everything later, all right? I know all about you. Yeah. Section 8, everything. It's not true. Madeline told me. Look, there's quite a few people in this world who would like to see my ass dead. So they built this cover story. No, man, I'm not going anywhere with you. Look, I'm tired of everyone telling me what to do, OK? Listen, Angie is in a lot of trouble. No, she's not. Just because we can't find her does not mean she is missing. She must be fine. She is not fine. 
And if we don't move, and I'm talking about right now, she's going to be a lot worse than not fine, okay? Look at me. I am not crazy. How do I know? You don't. You don't, but you do know that I'm your grandfather. You know I'm kind of capable. Look, as you get older, you're going to have a lot of these moments. When they happen, the best advice I can give you is you listen to your heart and your guts, and you won't go wrong. So, what do you say? Put up the interrogation room. Zoom in. <sighs> Damn it, Lou. Call security at the entrance. I'm sure they can stop Major Crawford. Yes, ma'am. Security. Aren't they looking for us? They are now. How are you doing? One moment, sir. Are you Major Crawford? Uh, yes, yes, I am. Are you, um, shocked and unconscious? That's the trouble with this generation. They have no stamina. Ma'am. Hey, so what are we supposed to do? They have our car keys. We don't need car keys. I, uh, I got my, uh... Bobby pin? No, it's the original bobby pin. It's my money clip, my nose plug, uh... Temporary super repair and my lap pick. Come on. Grandpa, there's a gate. Screw it, hit it. Should we send men after them? Ma'am? Then she got kidnapped by Kamenko. Kamenko? No. He's dead, remember? Here's what I think happened. Angie's on the way to the party. The car goes under Fritz, and then she makes that phone call. After the phone call, she hears something from the alley. She runs out. She sees this ambulance. But the patient, he's not dead. Well, he's very much alive. I see movement. What is going? He's right. Kidnap Angie, and they get a car towed. So Kumenko faked his heart attack. Well, I mean, he's indicted on war crimes. He's got to get out of here. Angie's his insurance policy. If we can hack into the 911 system, we can get a location. That's it. We have to talk to Wendell. Who? Wendell. Trust me. He's the guy. I need you to hack into the 911 phone system. No? Yeah. It's impossible. Not for you. It's a government system, heavily encrypted. Maybe if I had my own you terminal, I could. If I got you a government terminal, would you do it? Come okay. on, get up. Come on. Oh, let's go. Now? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Finally pay off on that card game? I will. But I need your help, all right? Well, oh, come on in. Hey, we brought Wendell here to hack in to the 911 system because we're tracing a phone call. Meet the last of the Univac 2000s. Built it myself, like everything else in here. Jake. The calculator on my phone is more sophisticated than this thing. Well, maybe the Japs, you got you fooled into thinking that phone of yours is the cat's teeth, but I ain't never met a communication system that could keep out old reliable here. My phone's from Korea. Koreans make phones? Well, what's next? We make pals with the Cubans? 
actually... Listen, Sonny, if you want to break into a government system, my Univac is the only game in town. Let me show you something else here. No <laughs> one can see this. <laughs> the seventh cup, all from the same bag. <laughs> tea? Oh, uh, tea? What about my 911 call? Right, right. Um, all right, boys. You, uh, go over there and wait until I tell you to throw that switch. You sit down here and wait till I tell you to push that button, all right? Okay. Okay, get ready. This is safe, right? Well, we'll soon find out. <laughs> all right, flip the switch. Press the button. Everybody, cover your eyes! Car alarms. Electromagnetic surge. It's to be expected. I'll hear about this in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your Wi-Fi code? Why what? Never mind, I'll just improvise. <sighs> hey, Harry, what's that? Batteries. Elon Musk's team design. I can feed this entire building for a month. If I can link your computer to mine, I should be able to establish a connection to the 911 database. I'm in. Okay, locating our time frame and see what we have. My cat stuck up the tree. Now it's down again. My name is Angie Wagner, and I've Stop, been that's it. Um, my car broke down, and there was an ambulance and these SUVs, and they shot two people. Um, he did that man from the TV. Come on, come on. He saw me, and he took me to, um, I don't know, it's, it's, it's somewhere by the water. Look, I got out of the room they were holding me in, and I got this phone, but I don't know Boy. when they're going to be back. So... No, baby. No. 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 Come on, you got to find them, buddy. Come on, please. I've retraced where the signal came from. What do we do now, Grandpa? Let's get the rest of the scum. Boys, I want you to be our paratrooper and then climb and fool this is mother. Is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> Love, brother. Help me up. What does it take? Hey, Wolf. Hmm. Harry, Wolf. Hey, mother, you. This is a surprise, I mean. Oh, hey, boys, this is uh, Wolf. He's our explosives expert. A man of the cloth. Some things do change. Honey, don't leave me hanging. I got a special. Some things don't. Grandpa, are you sure that we're supposed to be here? Shh, 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 shh. Don't come to play games with old Giovanni, huh? I gotta tell you, I play to win. Good evening, Giovanni. Major. <laughs> I thought you were dead. I don't think so, no. No, but I'm a little older. Well, look, maybe you can help me. I'm looking for some gun crazed weapons engineer and a, and a camo expert. You mean think about it for about a week? I get back to you. <laughs> Louis! Louis! <laughs> Louis! <laughs> Don't you dead. 
Scum! It's the scum! You're all a bunch of scum, that's what you are! Oh, oh God. man! And you're still alive! And you're still alive! Yeah. You're all old people, what did you yes. do? Empty out the rest home? You got anything you want to confess? You can stick that right where the sun don't shine! <laughs> Who are you kids? Gentlemen, behold, a veritable Geppetto's workhouse of military wonders, where the warrior in you can find everything he needs to achieve his greatest dreams. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get away from that gun! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You ruined my coffee pot! I said I was sorry, okay? It just looks cool. You ruined my coffee pot. That's too bad. That was really good coffee. Okay. At 7.45 this afternoon, my grandson's girlfriend was kidnapped by Krakorians. Krakorian? Komenko. Oh, All right, so... This is the warehouse. We're old, huh? We got four entrances here. What we have to do is coordinate the strike at each one of those entrances. What we need to do first is get two cameras from these opposite corners here, so we're covering the whole place. Now, along this west wall here, there's a bunch of these transformers, and we'll need you to uh, sneak in there and throw that switch off for a diversion. Pop it off. OK? Just pop it off. Yeah, pop it off. This is you. You will zip line from the tower to the roof and then rappel down onto the south entrance. No, I'm not gonna go up there, baby. Come on, you're the best wire man we had. Don't please go there, all right? Harry. Mm. The north, which is the channel, to be coming through the north, that's water. In the water? It reminds me, I saw one of them suits over here, the uh, deep diving. Yeah, I have that. That's vintage 1944. Nice. Uh, still works, I think. You think? What do you mean, you think? Ah, uh, 50-50. I'm kidding you. <laughs> oh, OK. All right. Wolf, right outside the east side, about 100, 200 yards down the road, there's this trolley. I want you to load it up with explosives and run it into that door, splintering it to smithereens, OK? Just like we did in Saigon in 71. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're kidding, right? No, do I look like I'm kidding? Yeah. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Take it easy, guys. I want to talk to you about um, our assault vehicle. What happened to this automobile? Seriously? I'm sorry. I needed the money. It's not your fault, OK? Now, is there any chance that maybe you got uh, something else? You got another kind of vehicle? Uh, that means yes. What yes. You Good. I made it myself. Come, Come on, here. boys. Let's go. Original 1979 Volkswagen Transporter 2. <laughs> this is awesome. Lou, what in heaven's name are we supposed to do with that? It, you can make a great base camp. Are you serious? I kind of like it. It looks pretty cool. But we're going to die. Are we out of our friggin' minds here? Hey, Wolf. Wolf, nothing. In case you ever notice, Major, we're no youngsters anymore. And I got myself a woman, and I'm a priest, and a damn good one. Maybe we'll think this thing through. Let's sleep on it, all right? I don't sleep good anymore. I pee eight times a night, six in the toilet. I, I don't think it's a good time for this. Enough of that, OK? Forget this crazy talk. We shall all go home. Forget this night ever happened. Look, I love you guys. You're going to do what you're going to do. May God go with you. I'm out of here. I think Wolf has a point, Lou. Ice. 
I'm... No. Another time, another place, fellas. Drop it to my church. Might do you some good. Wait, that's it? This is the double scum I've heard so much about? The men who assassinated Hitler, who fronted the Tet Offensive, that's it? You know what, just go. Leave. But I will never forget this night. You wanna know why? Because this is the night that I learned about bravery. And I learned it from hearing stories about you men. The devil's scum! Look, my generation, we have no idea how good we have it. Okay, I mean, we, we text on our smartphones, we update our statuses on Facebook, we, we listen to our music in the cloud, all without realizing that this world is a safer place because of men like you. Men who fought so that kids like me could be free to, to text and tweet and like and poke. You know what I said today? I said that old people should be seen and not heard. It's true. I heard it. I thought it was very disrespectful. Okay, well, I was wrong, Wendell. Old people have a lot to teach my generation. One thing they don't have to teach us is how to quit. Because we already know how to do that. You know, the devil's scum. You guys took on the world when the world was a dangerous place. You know what? The world is still a dangerous place. And now, more than ever, we need heroes. There's a girl in trouble tonight. Big trouble. And she needs you. She needs the devil's scum. So go on. Leave. Quit. Do what you want to do. But I know two people who aren't going to quit. Right, Grandpa? That's right, sir. No. There's three of us. What do you say, boys? Chance to go out on our shields. Come on. Wendell, as long as I'm home before breakfast, Mom's baking chocolate chip pancakes. us apart. Not, Not before, before we, we break, break them apart. apart. All right, sun's coming up. <laughs> up jumped the devil, boys. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm so scared I might pee my pants. Yeah, I'm all in. Uh, uh, I'm too old for this. <laughs> Mother, you all clear up there? Eagle Eye, two birds on the roof. Cage them all, all of them. Copy that. Sleep well, soldier. Mm -hmm. Harry, there's two coming towards you. Don't blow any bubbles, okay? Right through that. <laughs> Where am I going again? The eyes are on. Roger. 
It's exposed here. Watch for me. East, south eyes. I'm hot. Copy that. Gio, don't move. You got a guy coming. Take zoom out. Am I clear? Yeah, you're all clear. Now turn up that switch. All right, here I go. Eagle Eye, you ready to fly, brother? Oh, yeah. Hey, it's working. It's time. Yeah. Okay. What do I do if you need help? Um, it'll come to you. Hey, Grandpa. Careful. Whoa! No! Oh, please! Don't look down! Don't look down! Don't look down! Whoa! I look down! Oh, no! Oh! There goes my last kidney. Oh. Why isn't he flicking the switch? Lord, please protect me so I can kill him myself. <laughs> going on? Blue, oh, hold on a minute. I slipped desk. I had two inches. <laughs> Harry? Oh. Which one of those tanks did you take? The one with the... The one with the smiley face! <laughs> That's happy gas, you idiot! you out of the water right now. General, there's some activity in the water. Something going on down there. Brazil crown to spear. Trapper still up. Trapper still up. Huh? We might have got some troubles. Troubles? Troubles! Elport! Elport! You don't know that word, troubles? Idiot! You know that word? Idiot, copy. You know that word? Strap! <laughs> yeah. Yes, something's going on. Looks like the... The guys have been alerted. All right. We'll use that as a distraction. Now go! Roger that. that. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> Yo! Hands out! Come around! What? How are you doing? Can one of you guys help me out of this thing? Geo, how are you? Not so good, you. <laughs> oh, pretty good. Not bad. Grandpa, they're all busted. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, I'm not sure about Mother, but the others are. What do we do? Just stay in that truck, okay? I want 
you to stay in that truck. Do that for me, please, okay? I'll take care of it. Grandpa? Grandpa? We gotta do something. We can't fight the Krakovians. We've got midterms next week. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? Come on. No, I... Hey, no. I'm staying. You're staying. Batteries from my pacemaker. 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 <laughs> pacemaker. <laughs> pacemaker. <laughs> you know what I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you Krakowian cabbage. Shut. You shut. You shut. Shut you. Leave him alone. <laughs> Welcome. 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 Who are you, old man? Nobody you care to know. Nobody. Oh, nobody, says the a man in the green bush. Hello. Hey. And you are here to do what, huh? Arrest me? Oh, what are you old fools thinking, huh? Come on, guys, is this a joke? Huh? Is this a joke? I love jokes, but is this a joke? Come on. <laughs> We're soldiers. Oh. oh, is that so? Hmm, and from what century? <laughs> 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 and your commander. Oh, okay, I see. All for one and one for all the old fights, huh? Oh, come on, bunny rabbit. You don't like that? Ah, this nose for a dish. I really hope you guys wear your old man diapers. Hold your fire. Who's up, Matthias? Hold on. Take it easy. Here's a guy. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Luke. What, 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 what? Major Luke Crawford, the Major Luke Crawford, the... Would you stop that? I'm trying to have a conversation over here. Oh, uh, sorry, Luke. Come on. Sorry. Yeah. The Major Luke Crawford, the same Major Luke Crawford the KGB called what? Choknate Kanukin? Crazy Knuck, yeah. So you know all about me, huh? 
I received my military education in Stalingrad. Your exploits were required reading. I'm on it. Don't be. I was sent to Stalingrad to study after my father was killed. In action. By you. It's official. We're hosed. You probably don't even know who my father was. I pretty much remember almost everybody I killed. He wasn't a very nice guy. He had a family. He had a brother? Mm. Sister? Younger sister. She teaches uh, children how to swim. Mother? Of course. When you see your father, he should have thought of you poor people before he tried to buy that enriched uranium from one of my spies. Mm. I killed that spy a few years ago. It, it, excuse me. Mind if we go and sit down while you guys have your pissing contest? Yeah, no, that's all right. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah I'm good with that. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. Look, we all know that you faked your death and that you try to get out of the country. So, in the nicest way, I'm asking you, why don't you let this poor girl go? I would hope uh, that your superiors know they helped me plan my escape. Maddie. Maddie, Maddie. Yeah, call it a little payback for all the help I give Aspic in the early 90s. I help you take down the Berlin Wall. Now you help me get away from all those uh, unpleasant war crimes trials. I don't like them. I don't like those, you know? you know? But they just don't know that I'm going to kill all their men and leave the country on my own. But I'm crazy like that. I'm crazy like that. I'm crazy like that. <laughs> Uh -huh. Our ride is here. What does he mean, our ride? Well, look, don't, don't worry, guys. They can't shoot us here. Leave too much evidence. They'll get caught before they leave the home. Very good, Major. Man, you still got it. Or I just shoot you now and take my chances with this pig. Oh, I'll see, please. Don't you have a backup plan? My, I, I think so, yeah.
look in. I'll take you upstairs for insurance. <laughs> Come on, bunny rabbit. Hop, hop. Not break the spirit, break the body. Come on. Grandpa to get you. What? That old man is your grandfather? He's awesome, right? Yeah, well, we have to go. He was on the second you know floor. He is? To save me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to. thinking right now you're thinking to yourself why isn't this kid scared of me am i right of course i'm right you're thinking to yourself what does this kid know that i don't know that's making him so fearless maybe he's insane but maybe just maybe this kid can take care of himself <laughs> Grandpa. Well, you, what, what about your, your grandpa's hey, I'll tell you about it later. Let's sleep. How's that for confidence? Yeah, no, that was good. That Not was bad, good. right? Yeah, no, I liked it. That was good. Grandpa? Hey, come on, let's go. Yeah. I'm empty. Don't ask me. I'm out. Time to fuck her in. Which ah. is... Ah, I think I'm ready. Who oh, this is still? It is getting hot. Hey, do your magic. Wait, what? Nino! Harry! <laughs> I 
God works in wondrous ways with a little help from you, Harry. I knew you could do it. <laughs> this way, this way. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Are you okay? I think so. Watch out! Did I kill you all? Funny to be capot of it. Bluff. A backup plan. Oh. There's two MID 69 Super EX mines and they'll barbecue your ass to a crisp. What are you? Some kind of big soldier now, huh? Nope. Huh? Major Lou Crawford's grandson. Ah! They're only smoke bombs? Yeah, I lied. That's my boy. You guys stay there. Do not move. Next time, Lou, make the mission a little bit difficult. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Hey, do I get a cigar, too? <coughs> when you start shaving, I understand. Introduce us to your girlfriend. Huh. Uh, yeah, uh, Angie, this is Scum, Scum, this is Angie, and she is not my girlfriend. Like how I'm not? <sighs> Come here. Ooh, oh, nice. Watch out. Oh, Angie, <laughs> if I were 60 years younger. Hey. The battle on the hard court? No fatalities. I wish I was 70 again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, oh my, Lou, what have you done? Exactly what you want me to do, dear. Figured it out, did you? Yeah, it was a little, uh, a little late on that, but I started thinking, and I was wondering, and then it came to me. How the heck did I get out of that agency with the kid so fast, so easy? How did that happen? Just because some politician tells me I have to help the bastard get out of the country doesn't mean I have to get in the way of someone trying to stop him. Yeah, well... You could have got us all killed. It was a risk I was willing to take. He had the girl, and there was nothing I could officially do to help her. You almost got my grandson killed. Who told you to bring him along? Hello. Darling, we've seen so much action together. Let's put this behind us. Everyone's fine, your grandson, your men. It's been a good mission, just like the old days. Like the old days, exactly. Medic! Come on over there. What the heck? Oh, Grandpa! Wait. 
my god. Are you okay, sir? What's wrong with him? This man's going into cardiac arrest. Bring a stretcher! Get him to an ambulance now! Grimpy, you're gonna be okay. Wait, 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 wait. Don't be scared, son. I'm sorry, we have Move. to go. Move! Move! Straight in. No, no, no. Jake, you stay here. It's better. Better. Oh, man. All clear. Close him up. See you back at the house, okay, Jay? Take your time. worth fighting for. Yeah, me and the boys, uh, we were talking. There's something about your grandfather we think you should know. See, when Grandpa was released from active duty, they wanted to relocate him to a place like the Bahamas or Switzerland so he'd be safe. You know, all those villains are after him, like Kamenko. But he wouldn't go. <laughs> Grandpa never could run from a fight. <laughs> we, we ran from lots of fights, him and us. That's why we all made it, as long as we did. Your grandfather wouldn't leave because of you. Me? He wanted to be close to you. <laughs> it was his idea to, <laughs> to fake being senile. End up in a nursing home. <laughs> Perfect cover. So that bad boys would feel sorry for him and uh, leave him alone, and it's how it worked. <laughs> Kept up the act. All those years. Just to see you grow up. <laughs> we only took him out of that home twice a month. Yeah, well, that was good enough for him. He, uh, I want you to have these. You're amazed. You're family now, kiddo. Nothing pulls us apart. We thought you should know. Thank you. So, what's the plan tonight, Picasso? Ooh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I come to your game. Okay. Why don't you beat the snot out of Westmore Academy, mm -hmm. and then 
take you out to celebrate. Done. And my parents aren't home. Oh, well, maybe you could, um... Hey! What an adorable couple. Grandpa? Nice. <laughs> Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I mean, you're supposed to be... Dead. Yeah. Yeah, officially I am, but um, I gotta tell you, it's very liberating. Well, I, I don't understand. I, I, how? Well, uh, lunatic asylum I was in over there, I hated it after that nursing home, so yeah. Maddie was gracious enough to get me out. So dead now is my uh, cover. So you pulled a Kamenko and faked your own death? Yeah, but see, that guy... He got a beautiful, nice funeral out of it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, uh, Mom, Grandpa, we gotta tell Mom. No, 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 no. Uh, let me get settled a little while, and then we'll bring her up to speed, and, you know, once they get settled, okay? Well, where, where are you going? Well, I'm, uh... Coming, darling? <gasps> Hi, Mr. Bouchard. Hi, Miss Harcourt. Yeah, she's, uh, she's got a little farm down in Mexico. No televisions, no TVs, no minivans, pigs, ducks, you know, sun, food and blue pills. <laughs> Perfect, right? You are something else, you know that? Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, by the way. No, 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 no. Keep those, you know, in case I feel like bored and I want to come out of retirement. Okay. I got to go, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, gorgeous. Yeah. And um, I will uh, text you guys in a little while. Oh, hey, Grandpa, by the way. What are you going to do on a farm? What do you know about chickens, pigs, or goats? Let me tell you something. If I can destroy Death Star and save the galaxy... Star Wars? Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, at Lucas, that bum, he took two of those uh, planets, changed the name. So legally, it became a different story. Exactly. That's why I don't get one cent of royalties. Not one. Not guy. Not a guy. <laughs> I gotta feed some of that. <laughs> Second of the day.